Good morning, Forest Park. Today is March 10th, 2021. I'm Don Jones. I'm the city manager here in Forest Park, and I want to welcome you to our show, Off the Cuff, where we talk a little bit about things that have happened in the, in the community over the last week and things that are coming up that might be of interest to the citizens here in Forest Park. Uh, last week, we talked about the flyer that we mailed out that had uh, resident responsibilities, had some tax information on it. It also talked a little bit about city services that were coming up. Uh, and the CHIPPER program was on that. I want to let everyone know that we now have a, a schedule for the CHIPPER program. It's beginning April the 5th. So if you need information and you, and you want to take advantage of our CHIPPER program, go the, to our website, take a look at the dates that, uh, that would uh, apply to you where you live. It's based on where you live. And make sure you follow the rules and regulations. And uh, it's a tremendous service, and we hope everyone takes advantage of it to help uh, clean their yards and get rid of all that debris. Council meeting's coming up again this week. <clears throat> it's be, it'll be March 15th at 7 p.m. It will be virtual. Uh, we are still virtual here in the city of uh, Forest Park. So uh, we encourage you to watch live on Waycross Media. They, you can watch it on cable TV or you can watch it online. It streams on both. On the agenda for that meeting, it's relatively light again. Uh, we have a business of the month that we're going to announce. It'll be Tri-City Cleaners down on Northland Boulevard. We're also, um, one of our council members, Chelsea Clark, will be presenting an award to a local business for uh, Black History Month. Um, and we'll have more information on that as well. We're also going to be approving a contract for our police dispatchers. We've finally settled with them and, and we'll be uh, bringing that to city council for their approval and review. Also, one of the things I want to call to your attention as well, at that meeting we'll be appointing a new member to our Civil Service Commission. But I want to bring that to your attention because uh, volunteer opportunities are available for everyone. And I want to encourage anyone that has an interest in helping the city, being active in the community, and uh, providing whatever types of uh, services you, you, and skills that you have and you want to bring them and help the city out as a volunteer, we encourage everyone to, to, to do that. And uh, information about that, again, is available on our website. Search for the volunteer list and become a member here and uh, volunteer with us at... Uh, at the City of Forest Park and be active in your community. Finally, we have uh, the tax office again. I have to keep bringing that up. It is tax season. We are uh, open at our tax office at the Senior Center, so make sure there's no confusion. I keep bringing that up to make sure that you know where to go. The Senior Center is our tax office this year. It's open right now, and uh, it'll be open through the tax filing season. Tax deadline is April 15th. Don't forget that. Everyone has to file. It's mandatory filing in the city of Forest Park. If you need help with your taxes, again, we have staff there that will be more than happy to help you. And if you need help paying your taxes, again, come in. We'll be more than happy to help out and work out a payment plan to, uh, to uh, help you through these trying times. And finally, again, we talk about the vaccine all the time. We, we, we are having another vaccine uh, here at the city of Forest Park. It is run by the Hamlin County Public Health Department, and it's going to be again at the Word of Deliverance Church on Fresno Avenue. So we want to thank them for continuing their efforts to donate uh, the space and to have that space available for the community. And we want to make sure that everyone knows that they recently have lowered the, the age limit to, to 50 and added other uh, types of uh, folks, whether it's the health conditions or whether it's the job that you do. Uh, there's many other conditions. So Many more folks are eligible, and if you've been waiting, now's the opportunity to go out and uh, schedule an opportunity, schedule your TAC, your uh, vaccine, and uh, get a shot and keep everyone, uh, everyone around you safe and keep yourself safe. Do everything you can, again, the, to protect yourself, stay safe, follow the CDC guidelines, and uh, we'll be talking to you next week. Mm -hmm.